In this game, we're off to Animal Prison. In this story-rich RPG, we'll need to explore, survive, and make friends with inmates to put together a crew to break out. This is Back to the Dawn, and it's part of Steam Next Fest this month, which means you can play the demo yourself. There's a link in the description for you to check out. And better than that, they're giving away prizes on their Twitter, including merch and Steam gift cards. So if you want to win some prizes, go to their Twitter, which is also in the description. Good luck with those. And this video is sponsored by Back to the Dawn, but I'm genuinely a fan of what this game is doing. You can see me play the previous demo in full on the channel from a year ago, and I'm actually very, very impressed with this game. Now please hit like and subscribe for more indie gaming playthroughs. I like to find the most unique games on here, and this is certainly one of those. So let's dive in and take a look at the new demo for Back to the Dawn. Dear viewers, I'm here at the Lameleg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant at Skid Road. As you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odour. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear what his thoughts... Let's hear his thoughts on the matter, even. Hey, my thoughts. This damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago and it's already devastated surrounding area. Those heartless ones of bitches must have dumped sewage into river at night, and now all the fish are dead. It's messed up. Smell the stench. So many kids are sick, they can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. Have you informed the authorities, such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course, but they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. The bastards are in it and out together. Those crooks. They see us poor people here as less than nothing. Viewers, is the tragic situation here the result of illegal sewage dumping? And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? We'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. Excellent interview. Your reputation is well deserved. I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up. The election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked the eraser for help. He must be desperate. The eraser? Oh, that's just baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. But let's get back to the point. Cards on the table, the mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant. But the mayor wasn't aware of that fact, and no so-called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. I'll find out the truth. What a great journalist. I admire your passion for your work. But there's more to life than work, far more. What are you trying to say? A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. And no friends to speak of other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your aggressive reporting always gets you in trouble. He's the one who has to clean up your mess. You'd make a pretty good journalist yourself. <laughs> you flatter me. I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal. We can help each other. Knuckles. The briefcase. What's this? You trying to buy me? You got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of publicity. This is your fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter. Such a waste. I want to give you an opportunity. Will you 
join us or carry on with your thankless reporting. You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Take the money. Get the bag. <laughs> I will not. I am not for sale. Unless you're a sponsor. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. Oh, how unfortunate. Since you're so determined to be so stubborn, you leave me no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colors? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats. Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? No way. You're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. Glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care. Have a nice day. You'll regret your foolishness. Five O. I'm Sergeant Norman. This is my precinct. Is this your car? I yes. Is there a problem, officer? We received an anonymous tip that the car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Kyle, check up front. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some mistake. That's for us to determine. Sit tight. Huh? Sarge, I found it. He was hiding something. It looks like grade A stuff. This is a setup. Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. Oh. What a great day. It's calls for another drink. Prominent reporter sentenced to prison. Bong. I've been set up. I've been framed. I've been shanghaied. Hoodwinked. 21 days until the election. Stand at attention. Listen good, fish. From now on, you are inmate 1220. I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? Yeah. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. Well, I understand. Good. Now get your ass to sell free and make it snappy. <laughs> Animal jail. Here it is, fish. You're new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Head counts in the lobby at eight. Don't be late. Get out of my sight. Guy talks a lot. Now's not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction and I still haven't met with Reed. I don't know how the appeal is progressing. I need to contact him. Ask prisoners. They should know how to contact the outside. I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Oh, hi. I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam. My nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. I work in TV. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. How do I contact the outside? I gotta talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me. Or if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone. You can try after headcount, but there's usually a line. A phone. That's great. I'll call after headcount. Looks like this rickety iron frame is my bed. Bottom bunk's been taken. Guess I'm on top. The table looks older than me. I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. So that's for crafting. Storage cupboard. Stash. Prison schedule, okay. 
Toilet sink combo. Hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's blocked. Right, no pen or pencil. Plant. This potted plant seems to be made of plastic. If I want to grow a plant, I'll have to wait for the full version. <laughs> Cloth roadblock pick. Mint roll up paper crane. It's almost head count. Ah, there's the clock, yeah. Head count prep at 745. Ah, oh, looks like I made it in time. Tension! It's actually really colourful, like visually. This game's really nice. Settle down, all of you. Head count starting. One, two, three. 44 or 47, three inmates absent. Two in the infirmary, one in segregation, that's all. Listen up. Today's the first of the month, which means some more dipshits have joined you. I'll warn you now do not try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain, I will show you no mercy. Let's get down to business. All you newcomers listen and listen good. Okay, to enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison offers work assignments, vacancies in the laundry room, so any new inmates who want to earn some money apply to me. Yeah, we want higher wages. Yeah, I want to go to the kitchen. Shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed. Prison work? I do need some cash. I only have a few coins in my pocket. Top priority right now is to call Reed. Uh, excuse me, can I use the phone, please? Come on, it's been so long. Did you read my script to the director or not? What? Uh, what do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have an idea how important this script is to me? Uh, my entire comeback is writing on it. Uh, can you just get it together? Don't forget who helped you when you were at rock bottom. phone. 58% chance to persuade him to leave. Do I have money though for a call? I have 50 apparently down here. Hi, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you let me use the phone? Oh, that's a good roll. I was finished anyway. Let's make a call. Welcome to the prison smartphone. Enter your inmate number after the beep. Smartphone. One, two, two, zero. Inmate one, two, two, zero. You could make two more calls today. You will be charged ten dollars per call. A ninety dollar service charge will be added for your first call. I knew it wouldn't be that simple. This place is more shady than I thought. I don't have that much money. Damn it! Guess I better get a job. the notice board. The work. Well, you want to work? Good. Inmates should keep busy. I have some good news. Right now you can apply to work in the laundry room with good conduct credits. A special privilege for new fish like you. If you're interested, come fill out the form. Work in laundry. Work on roof site. Work in kitchen. Application approved. Great job, you'll love it. How do I get there? See this fence gate? Go out from there before lunch. A guard will take you from your workplace or the other side of the corridor. Don't try any funny business. It's watched by snipers. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off, would you? I wouldn't, sir. Uh, no. Who's this in the corner? Are you okay? You talking to me? A friend. Hello? Shh, keep it down. You'll scare them. Who? There's no one else here. All the little elves. Can you see them dancing at the tip of my nose? The lobster knights climbing up my legs. Oh, I get it. You're high as a kite. You're hallucinating. Hi? No, I'm a magic chef. This is my psychic power. Then I guess you added a lot of herbs and spices to your food, right? Most deaf. I put in some mushrooms and painkillers. It tasted out of this world. 
the effects clearly haven't worn off yet. I'll leave him in his own little world. Little lobsters climbing, little elves laughing. <laughs> An alpaca who constantly has drool hanging from the corners of his mouth. Brain addled from heavy drug use. An apprentice chef. Diego the alpaca. What about this little frog? Stay right where you are, croak. You better stay away from me. Am I in your way? No, it's for your own safety. What do you mean? See the colour of my skin? Do you know what that means? I'm poisonous. Highly poisonous. If you have a cut and it so much as rubs against me, you'll be headed straight for the infirmary. Ooh, interesting. So if I wanted to get into the infirmary, I could do that, probably. If that happens, I'll explain to the guards that you brought it on yourself. Uh-oh, some of my saliva splashed on your nose. <laughs> Frog Grey. With his bright green skin and big red eyes, this little fella is the only amphibian in the whole prison. His striking appearance certainly makes him stand out from the crowd. He poisonous. Dangerous on the outside. Could he be one of the few good guys in this joint? So every character has their own thing going on. And you can befriend them. Like in Life Sims. is very cool. My work request has been approved. Uh, you do have a work permit? I can't find a health certificate. You have to go to the infirmary for a physical. Oh. All new inmates must go to the infirmary. Okay. Send me on. Are you here for a physical? Doc's in the consultation room, going by yourself. Come to me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there too long. The infirmary. A beautiful doctor, soft beds, a whole host of treasures. Doctor finishes work at 5.30. Don't come too late if you want to see her. to body for washing my hands with soap, nice and clean. Rubbing alcohol, tape, pressure bandage. I mean, yoink. Let me sleep. You calling me? Fernando. Electronic lock. You need to know the code to open the door. An intercom. Even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just see the doctor whenever you want. Hello, how can I help you? I'm here for a physical. A physical? Oh, come on in. I have some free time. You undergo a brief physical in the consultation room. I'm Beth. From the records, I see this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here, responsible for all of the inmates' ailments, big and small. Every day I leave at 5.30 sharp. I don't like overtime. I understand that. I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. If you get hurt during the night, the guard, Bran, will administer your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't need to worry. Let's take a look at your test results. First of all, congratulations. There's nothing major wrong with you. Considering the unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most of the infectious disease in here. I'll just get it from the pharmacy. I'm the only one here. Free movement time, 10 minutes, okay. The drain looks pretty wide, maybe it can be used to... But I guess such a complex route won't be available in the demo. All for escape. Yoinked. A desktop is 
such a mess. Should be back. I'd better not sit here. I'll try again next time. Ready for your shot? Close your eyes if you're worried about the pain. After receiving a shot in the arm, you leave the consultation room. Health certificate. Inmate 1220 requesting return to Gen Pop. Animal jail. Okay, now I can go earn some money. Ah, is this the laundry room? The washing machine is so loud. Let's see what work I can do. Is that a wuss I can smell? <laughs> Reputation needs to reach level 3 to befriend him. An ironing board. What am I supposed to do? There might be some instructions on the wall. The machine is taller than me. Wheels on the bottom. It must have been moved. Dude, I'm so good at rolling dice. Ironing board instructions. Take up the iron, put it down to stop. Five types of clothing. Tops 11 minutes, pants 10 minutes, best 9 minutes, and the pants socks. The closer the ironing time is to the specified time, the more pay you receive. Improve efficiency, reduce costs. Finish ironing three items in succession. Okay. Let's give it a go. Piece one is pants. The ironing time is 10 minutes. So I have to like stop. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, close enough. Nine. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pretty good. Eleven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <sighs> Need some slow seconds. Okay, so I got forty. So I need to do one more to be able to make my call. Sock seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why does it always feel like that first second is really slow? Okay, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was so close, my gosh. Shame that that's this exact same amount of money for being within that time. Like, come on, I was I was literally so close. Okay, now I can afford my phone call. Quest complete. I'm sure my lawyer's gonna get this all fixed. Inmate 1220. Connected. They confiscated my business card holder, but luckily I memorized Reed's office number. There's also another number I can't forget. Maggie's. Who should I call? Well, Reed is who we need to talk to. Though I do miss Maggie. Reed's Law, your reliable litigation specialist. He's a red panda. I love red pandas. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally, I was worried something bad had happened. 
It's not easy to call from here. How are things going with the case? I was just about to tell you, the appeal fell through. I don't know if Angelo did something or it was pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal, but as you know, the mayoral election is in 21 days. Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. I expected as much. But don't lose heart, I have some good news. Good news? Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? I remember a woman said she had evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. I get calls like that every day from scammers selling false information. I know, you've fallen for it a few times and gotten screwed out of a lot of money, but that one could be real. I remember where she wanted to meet you, a little bar called Baroness. My investigations uncovered the bear has some connection with the mayor. The bar. <laughs> Bear's on the brain. But I can't explain properly over the phone, we need to meet in person. You may have to wait a few days. The prison said there are so many visit requests, the slots are full. Even lawyers go on a waiting list. When it rains, it pours. I know you're anxious, but do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there's a way to bypass? Might be worth a try. We'll come at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues and you make sure you be careful in there. If we can really get our hands on evidence of their crimes, it's no time to go down without a fight. I have to find a way to solve the visitation problem. Ask a guard about details. What is it? You have a question about visitation? I heard all visitation slots are full, even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. Lawyers, I tell you, even if the father of the forest himself came down from the sky, he'd have to wait like everybody else. Last month, some son of a bitch injured the guard escorting him during visitation. Security and visitation's been doubled. We've had to reduce the number of visit rooms. Seems like too much of a coincidence. I really need to see my lawyer. Is there a way to bypass the waiting list? Of course there is. But my help comes with conditions attached. Conditions? Do you know there are three gangs in this prison? One of them is Seize of the Chimps Black Claw Gang. I need you to go into his cell. There should be a backup legend there. If you can find it and bring it to me, I'll take care of visitation for you. Why not just toss his cell and find it yourself? Don't ask so many questions. It's not your concern. Does he want to use me as his pawn? I have no other choice. I need him. I'll bring it. Great. He's in B205. B205. Oh, this is B block. B205. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Bear. I feel like I need to talk to the bear, right? Like, how can I not actually? I'm hungry. Again. Makes sense. Let me befriend you. I'm a little hungry. How can you belch and be hungry? It's my stomach. Oh, I should know if I'm hungry or not. I have to eat more in one meal than you do in a whole day. It's almost winter. If I don't eat more, I might not be able to hibernate for long enough. Imagine getting to hibernate in prison. Sleep the time away. There's a head count every day. How can you hibernate? Let Henry the Black Bear teach you something very important. When I want to hibernate, all I have to do is find a prison guard and kick him up the ass. I'll <laughs> give me a nice VIP room and sag. Then I can sleep for as long as I want. Makes sense. A simple, honest looking bear who's always down because he can never get enough to eat. As winter approaches, he started to prepare for hibernation. When you express your doubts about whether he'll be able to sleep while in prison, he reveals a surprising solution. So I'm gonna sneak into this guy's cell. Maybe I should talk to him first. Asking Raphael to negotiate with the Bigfoot gang was nothing but a waste of time. Those bastards wanted the kitchen all to themselves right from the start. Maybe we're a bunch of pushies. 
he asked me we should set fire to their storage room. Shall we mean business? Calm down. It's not time to go to war with them yet. And don't forget about the sharp tooth gang. Alex isn't stupid. He could be waiting for us to wipe each other out so he can wade in and take the spoils. Okay. Bruce said the ledger should be in here. I really want to steal it for him. This cell belongs to the boss of the Black Claw Gang. Why would the captain of the guards need to be so sneaky? What's he up to? It's like I'm parachuting blindfolded and I have a feeling I'm about to jump into a pit of fire. If I could think of another way, there's no way I'd take the risk. I mean, see what happens. It do be a demo. You search high and low, but the ledger is nowhere to be found. It's not on the table, under the bed. The only place left is the locked cupboard. It must be inside. So what I need, uh... Lockpick, maybe? Okay. To make a lockpick then, won't I? No harm, no foul. TV room. I feel like a coffee machine in a prison is asking for trouble, right? Here's access to boiling hot water, guys. Lunch at 12. Okay, well, it's nearly lunchtime. I wonder if I could get back to my cell and make a lockpick before then. I think every time I do something, time is moving. I have collected quite a few materials. Lockpick. I need two nails or two paper clips. Okay. Hmm. What if I call, uh, ah, oh, no, I don't have enough money for another call, do I? Or maybe the service charge covers it, does it? For ten dollars, yes. Who's Maggie? Let's find out. No answer. Maggie's not home. isn't open yet. So I wonder how we um, pass time. Just talk to someone maybe. Another boring day. This guy sure is tall. Hey friend, you seem to be interested in my height. Uh, I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry about it. It actually feels quite good to look down on folks. I'm Jimmy the Giraffe. I used to be a software engineer. Software engineer? Surprised, huh? You must be thinking, I can't believe this guy isn't a pro basketball player. I may be tall, but I suck at basketball. More specifically, I don't like to do any exercise other than yoga for two if you catch my drift. I do watch... <laughs> I, do, I think I do. I do watch games from time to time, but only when I have a little money riding on them. Shame. I just don't want to be tagged with all giraffes of big dummies. I think you understand where I'm coming from, don't you, cunning fox? Jimmy the giraffe. <laughs> Hunger. Go get some chow. Chow time. If I don't hurry, I'll be eating leftovers. This place doesn't look too bad. I hope the taste doesn't disappoint. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this little look, then the video on the screen right now is the full playthrough of this demo from a year ago. So you go and check that out. And I go a lot more into depth on this game, a lot more detail, befriending, talking to everyone and checking out the rest of what the other demo has to offer. So go and check that out. But otherwise, have a beautiful rest of your day. Good night.